Are you trying to add a MindBody branded web widget to your new Squarespace website and seeing some really strange stuff like this where the text is overlapping in the header? Or maybe you're trying to add up an appointments widget and you've got the widget added, but it's not clickable. Nothing you can do can make the widget actually do something. Or maybe even this appointment widget is like clear up flushed on the side of the website and it just is totally out of place and you can't get it to move. If you're seeing these things, then keep watching because I've got a fix for it. Hi, I'm Connie Holan from PixalityDesign.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you a quick cut and paste fix to clean up some problems we're seeing with MindBody widgets, specifically the appointment and the enrollments widget on Squarespace 7.1 websites. Now, I want to be clear that this particular issue is only on Squarespace 7.1 sites, which you likely have if you started your site after January 2020. Older sites, version 7.0, don't have to worry about this. You can tell whether your site is version 7.0 or 7.1 by where this expansion arrow is, the arrow that you click in order to get to the admin panel on your site. If it's on the right-hand side of your screen, like it is in this demo, then this is Squarespace 7.1. If when you log into your Squarespace account and the expansion arrow is on the left side, that means it's a Squarespace 7.0 website and you don't have to worry about this. Okay, so if you're trying to add an appointment widget or an enrollment widget on your 7.1 website and it's out of place or it just looks like a mess, it's because Squarespace and MindBody just happen to be using the same terminology in their code, which is causing conflicts. Your poor website's just a little bit confused. The fix is to add a couple of lines of code to tell your website which one to prioritize. To do that, you're going to paste this code into your Squarespace website under Design Custom CSS. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can grab it in the video description or you can find it on my blog. So I'm just going to click here in the Custom CSS window and I'm going to paste these this, uh, just a few lines of code. And you can see how that immediately cleans up the header issue here. It also makes our uh, appointment widget clickable and makes it work. If you had that issue where the appointment widget was uh, flushed onto the side of the screen, it should also center it up as well. So what this code is doing is just telling the heel code widget, that's the MindBody widget, heel code used to be what MindBody branded web was called way back when they wrote the code. So this is just telling your website, okay, when you're looking at the heel code or the widget code, Make it static, don't let it float around, keep it in place, and make all the pointer events work. So a pointer event is what we're doing here when we're clicking around. So you're just giving a little more guidance to your website to let your website know exactly what you want to do with this third-party code that we're adding. So once you hit save, everything should be as intended with your MindBody web widgets on your website. For more Squarespace and MindBody tutorials, Subscribe to this channel on YouTube or head to pixelitydesign.com and join my email list via the subscribe link in the footer. Thanks for watching.